Not only are you beautiful, you're also bold, and she plays on the Bold and the Beautiful. Just saying, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Tell us about coming out here and supporting a great cause with the LAPD. You know, um, my father was a police officer in St. Louis for 30 years. That's where I'm from. And we don't really do these things in St. Louis. So to be able to come to something like this and support something like this, that's just, you know, just seeing all the cadets and knowing that my dad was there at one point, it just means a lot to me to know that maybe I can tell him about this and he's going to feel a little bit more like I'm proud of him. I know he doesn't understand what I'm doing as an actor. So. A lot of parents don't. I mean, when you first, when did you first start um, uh, acting or realize that you had a passion for it you wanted to take it on a more serious level? Um, well, I mean, I popped out singing and then after that, um, theater kind of comes with singing and then people expect you to dance if you do those two things. So I did all of that. Um, my freshman year in high school, I recorded my own demo and sent it into a recording company, did that for a while, and um, sophomore year I got cast in a student film and I was like, this is the most awesome thing ever. Like I get to be somebody else and do right. things that are totally inappropriate in real life. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of when I discovered I got to do a whole bunch of stuff that I'd probably get yelled at if I actually did them in real life. And <laughs> Here's interesting, um, looking back at it now, have you seen your first uh, your first acting project? Oh, she's cringing. I haven't seen my first <laughs> because I think back then we only had like VHS recorder. Old school styles. Yeah, like really old school. But um, I've seen my first film several times. I don't know why I've seen it several times. I wish I hadn't seen it's it. Studying. At all. <laughs> it's studying. It's studying. It's studying. Uh, yeah, at this point I think I can leave that chapter behind. <laughs> I don't want any more to do with it. Well, speaking of the current chapter right now, Bold and the Beautiful, let's talk about that. Uh, for the people that uh, don't tune into it, shame on you guys. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the character that you play um, and uh, what could we be expecting for your development as uh, in the character? Um, basically, what's going to happen without giving anything away is um, Steffi is still in that major um, battle with trying to, um, trying to divorce her ex-husband. Hope is still trying to get back together with him and some major things happen that um, we as her friends help her out with at the club. We're always seen at the club. I, I guess she's having a difficult time and needing to be at the club. <laughs> I don't know. Now in real life, do you like uh, frequent the clubs? I don't. I don't frequent the clubs at all. <laughs> what do you do on your, what do you do in your spare time? Um, in my spare time, if I have any, mostly edit pictures. I kind of like to edit pictures, really? but um, yeah, I, I kind of, I run my own website. Um, I do competitive pole dancing. Okay, so here's the thing. This is something interesting. It's isn't it, is it officially an Olympic sport right now? Because I know they were talking about it and they wanted to. No. Yes. Maybe. It didn't. It didn't make it. it. Didn't. No, I think I think people aren't quite going to take us so seriously until perhaps we're willing to remove the shoes. I think the shoes are a big part of it not being taken as a legitimate sport. Oh, because the sexy heels. Exactly. Yeah, but, you, but I've seen people do it like like for serious acrobatic. Um, uh, workouts or whatnot, and it just it's incredibly tough yeah it, it definitely is it's really tough um, you know I lost a lot of weight got a lot of muscle tone doing that and just started taking that really seriously it's it's really my release besides acting that's wow. all I've got and um, you know I just love it but I think it's a little hard to take it seriously in the first place and then when you add five to seven inch heels on top of it you know people aren't gonna consider you an athlete um, but why do you guys wear it? Why don't you just take it off and be okay? Let's do it. Let's we're, we're now athletes. No heels. Let's do the real deal. You know, I think it's part of the roots of the sport and of the art is that um, you know there's so many places it originated from in India, but also you know in the strip clubs and and the clubs like that. And it's just kind of part of the sexiness that has always been a part of that of that culture. Is Carmen Electra the goddess right now of uh, pole dancing? Because she kind of brought it back, didn't she? I, she did. She did. She kind of brought it um, she into kind of, mainstream. She did. She brought it into mainstream as kind of something that you could do for exercise. But um, I think I think right now I still have to say um, this beautiful girl named Felix Kane um, is still is still my goddess of pole dancing right now. And um, she's a two-time world champion. Wow. Uh, but she didn't win this year. She was in a terrible accident. But I wish her 
better. <laughs> a sweetheart. Are you on the whole social media front, Facebook and Twitter? I know that you operate your own uh, website as well, so let's plug in your uh, your contact online. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm on Facebook. My Facebook is Aaron Marie Hogan. My Twitter is Aaron Marie OMG, and then my website is www.aaronmariehogan.com. I'm sure you get this a hundred million times. Any relations to the Hogan family? I wish, but no. <laughs> Hi, my name is Erin Marie Hogan, and you can watch me on SLTV.